FODMAP kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some chicken pot pie. Last video I showed you guys how to make a fun snack food and today I'm going to show you how to make an actual meal. To make chicken pot pie you'll need one and two thirds cups of mixed veggies. You can either use frozen or canned mixed veggies. Just make sure that they don't have lima beans or onions in them. You'll also need one can of cream of chicken. It does have wheat and milk in it, but because they're lower down on the ingredients list, in this case, they're considered a low FODMAP. And you'll need a one pound thawed chicken breast. If your chicken breast is frozen, like mine usually are, you'll just put it in a Ziploc bag and let it sit in some warm water for about half an hour to an hour and let it defrost. For tools, you'll need one eight inch round pie pan. You'll wanna make sure that it has one inch sides. You'll also need a mixing bowl a cutting board, and a large cutting knife. Then for seasonings, you'll need half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And to make the topping, for tools, you'll need a mixing bowl and a whisk. And for ingredients, one tablespoon of butter, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, one cup of gluten-free one-to-one flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill, but Pillsbury is another good brand that you can use and half a cup of lactose-free milk. I like to use Fairlife. It's real cow milk that they've filtered down and taken the lactose enzyme out of. So it's all the gloriousness of milk with none of the stuff that'll make you sick. To start, you're going to take your defrosted chicken and cut it into bite-sized chunks. So unsheath your knife and you'll wanna cut it starting from one end, about half an inch to an inch Thick. Then turn your cutting board and cut it in half long ways. Again, half an inch to an inch thick. chicken, you're going to take olive oil and a frying pan over to the stove. To cook your chicken, start by putting a little bit of olive oil in your pan. You'll want about a tablespoon and turn your heat to medium high. Once your olive oil has coated the bottom of the pan, you will take your cut chicken, very carefully place it into the pan. Then you'll cook it until it is cooked all the way through and you'll know that it's done when you're able to cut it in half with a spatula and see that it's cooked all the way through so there's no pink in the middle. chicken from the stove. Once your chicken is cooked, make sure to wash your hands. Since we've been working with raw chicken, you want to wash your hands before handling any other food. Next, spray your baking pan with a little bit of baking spray so that your food doesn't stick. And the next step is going to be just combining everything in our pie dish. Just going to pour that all into a medium-sized mixing bowl. I'm 
and then take our butter, you'll want it to be room temperature, plop it in there. And this is the fun part. You're going to mix the butter in to the flour with your hands until it is all thoroughly combined. So to where there's no more butter chunks. And yes, you will wanna, will wanna wash your hands before this. Dry ingredients are all mixed, then you will take your egg, add it in there, and your half cup of milk, and then whisk it together. no clumps left in it, so it'll all be smooth. For our final step, we will take our topping and put it on top of our mixed ingredients. So to do that, I like to use a fork for a bit more control, and we'll start on the outside and smooth it flat, and you're just gonna wanna make sure that you cover the surface without spreading it too thin to where it mixes with the filling. Then once your outside is all filled, you will start filling the inside. degrees. Once your oven is preheated, place the dish into the oven on the middle rack and set your timer for 30 minutes. Ta-da! Here is the chicken pot pie that we made. It smells really delicious. Mine kind of exploded, but that's okay. It will taste great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a home-cooked southern meal today. Stay tuned for the next episode where we're moving on to dessert and I will show you how to make gluten-free brownies. I'm gonna try some of this. Mmm. Tastes like my mom is cooking. one pound of, nope, if your chicken breast is usually, nope, and, nope, then plus, nope, nope, lactose, nope, Once your oven is preheated, nope. And there you have it. This is the, nope. Nope. If, nope. Moving on to dessert, next episode we will, nope. Oh. He's trying to eat your oven. Get out! <laughs>